what I like to tell people about are the unseen things, the animals that really control what happens in the estuary. And these would be the bivalve mollusks. These are animals with shells, and they're very, very small to start out. They're planktonic. They can be a fraction of a millimeter in size. There's tens of millions or even perhaps billions of mollusks bivalves in the sediments of the Charlotte Harbor estuary and in all estuaries. Now some examples of those mollusks would be such as the base scallop. This is one half of a base scallop shell this big. This animal grows extremely fast, gets larger than this size within a year, but they have a one-year life cycle. Another example would be the Sunray Venus. This shell lives longer than the scallop and it's edible as well, as is the base scallop. They have muscles inside that people like to eat. One of the things these animals provide, day in and day out, they filter water. So they are constantly filtering particulates out, which they feed on and enables them to grow. And because they do that, that makes them a critical part of the food chain in the estuary. They take phytoplankton, which is a plant that converts sunlight energy into tissue, which other animals feed on. We can demonstrate the ability of mollusks and bivalves to filter feed in the laboratory. If we take a beaker of water with phytoplankton in it. It's a green algae, and we can see that algae, and spike it. And then we take another beaker, to spike that also with algae, and put bivalve mollusks in it. Within a matter of an hour or so, we can see that the mollusks have cleared up the water to make it quite clean, as opposed to the beaker where there were no mollusks. There's a number of things uh, that can stress bivalves and other mollusks in the estuary system. And unfortunately, most of those are human causes. This can include discharges from things like sewage treatment plants or toxic discharges from factories or untreated runoff from roadways, highways. Too much fresh water can also basically kill these animals. Bivalves, the, which are often referred to as shellfish, um, are usually quite safe to eat. However, as filter feeders, they tend to accumulate toxins that are in the water. Toxins that they can accumulate also include red tide toxins. Bivalve mollusks are a valuable resource. There are millions of tons harvested around the world every year for human consumption. And this can be a sustainable resource if we do it carefully. They're very valuable in terms of the species we need. And it's why biodiversity is also so important. Because although there are hundreds of mollusk species in Florida, they do not all perform these services in the same way. They're not all doing exactly the same thing or living in the exact same spot. Visit the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program website 